Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We got a mod for our legs, and we do have the skill required. So, one armor, resist, status effect resistance 12%, and this will give us evasion plus three and plus one armor. So, let's stick that in there and confirm. So she has better leg armor now. She's the only one who has uh, leg armor. Uh, I have, uh, or Salo has, uh, some body armor. So does she. No one else has any armor of any kind. So that's probably something that we want to get. Anyway. Systems active. We want to leave the Ranger headquarters, and we want to take the footpath to downtown Colorado Springs. So, while that loads, uh, if you're enjoying the series, if you're enjoying the videos, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like. It helps me out a lot. Every like I get helps me out quite a bit in being found on YouTube and so on. So, if you're enjoying it, why not leave that like? Uh, I really appreciate it. Also, if you have any comments, uh, suggestions, or tips, anything like that, no spoilers though, because this is a blind playthrough, uh, then I would love to see your comments uh, down in the comments section. I read all my comments and I reply to by far the most of them. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're updated on when new videos are coming out. Okay, almost loaded. Alrighty. So, downtown Colorado Springs. That does not look nice. Oh, it's Dorsey Prisoners. I'm done with that then. Okay, Emmeline Peace, Marshal Enforcer, Colorado Citizens, Marshal Deputy, Marshal Deputy, Marshal Enforcer, Austin Peace. Okay. Let's take a quick look at our mission log. So, Cornered Rats. Shortly before we arrived at Peterson Air Force Base, a large group of Dorsey attacks. Dorsey's attack to our swings. The attack failed and most of the holdouts are holed up the Garden of the Gods. The Patriarch asked us to help his marshals deal with them. Okay. Reward. Ranger HQ Brig Warden. Merc armor, Merc helmet, and Merc leggings. When there's full house, our new headquarters will only be as useful as the people we can recruit. We should also focus on getting our critical infrastructure up and running. Recruit personnel for Ranger HQ, a brick jailer, a med bay doctor, an armory quartermaster, and garage mechanics. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, let's see. What? I did not ask you to select him. That's a little annoying. And we'll do that. Please! Uh, My son's not a Darcy! Colorado. Let him go! You don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Uh, for now, yes. We're the Rangers. We work for anyone who needs our help. For now, yes. Then, then maybe the Magistrate will listen to you. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. He's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. Okay. What happened? Why was your son sentenced to death? I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. 
Uh, what's your story? Our family escaped the wars in the east. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us, and I'm gonna lose him too. Okay. Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. Okay, goodbye. Please, help my son. We'll have our revenge. You yes. have seen the last of us. Uh, Austin Peace, let's talk to him. Dorsey scum! The teenage prisoner is gaunt and pale. His hair is tousled and greasy, his face angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps back to reality. Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. How'd you get into trouble with the marshals? Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it. And they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed. So, here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. Okay, he doesn't seem like a bad kid. Uh, why'd you do it? We're starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. Yeah, seems reasonable. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Hmm. Uh... What's your sentence? Straight tells me it's dead. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. Okay. It'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Okay, let's say we can free you. What's that worth to you? Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Yes, I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. Okay. Do you have any useful I'm used skills? i hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. Okay. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Okay. Nice talking to you. I guess no, that's Magistrate Washington's, yeah. Let's talk to him. This star man looks out at the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. His sallow skin pulls tight over his face and his thin lips press together in a hard line. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? <laughs> Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Mm -hmm. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city and your convoy. Uh, what's with the pillories? They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. 
Yeah, that seems like a harsh way to die. Death by exposure seems harsh. Uh, uh, you have no other offenses. Here. We have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Okay. Death by exposure oh, seems harsh. Contrary, it is more merciful than the punishments meted out by the mountain clans or the gangs of the plains. If we did any less, they would see our nation as weak. And in Colorado, weakness is death. As much as we might long for the world before the bombs, when justice was not so cruel. That is not the world we inhabit. And okay. let's be honest, Judge. You kind of like it too, don't you? <laughs> no, I do not. I only do what the law commands. And since you're the law around here, I guess you're your own boss. I follow principles set forth at the second founding of this city, as you know very well. Without our laws and the penalties to enforce them, we're no better than the wastelanders. Okay. Proceed. Austin Peace says he didn't kill anyone. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorses were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Okay. Uh, what if the Rangers were to pay for his damages and assume guardianship over the boy? He's not a bad kid, and he's all his mother has. Kill him, and you might as well kill her. You're too young for a death sentence. Surely you can offer him some mercy. Mm, so we can't do the kiss ass thing. Uh, he's too young for a death sentence. Mercy. <laughs> I do not see the word in my law books. The patriarch has charged me to dispense justice, not mercy. Okay. He's not a bad kid. My concern cannot be for his mother. It can only be for the law. Regrettable, but he chose this path, not I. Okay, what if the Rangers were to pay for his damages? You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. $200. $200, here you go. You take the money, writes a receipt for you, and jots a note in a battered ledger. He tucks the ledger back into his robe. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. No break okay. No break Let's go talk to Austin again. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. We talked to the mattresses. Uh, magistrate, he says he'll release you. You'll be working for us now. What? Are you serious? You really saved my life, and, and I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank no you. No mercy on your souls, Colorado. Okay. Watkins must be going soft. I thought the kid was a corpsicle for sure. <laughs> corpsicle? Let's talk to... Like you. you rangers are heroes. I'm going to tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Thank you. No mercy on your soul, Okay. Colorado. 
so he's gonna be at our headquarters, I guess. Um, hmm, can we go in here? No break breath! No break pendants! Let's try it. Darcy scum! <clears throat> Death to Buchanan! Death I hope to you the die slow! Families! Uh, Lucia Wesson, there's some prisoners. What the hell is this place? We built some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right past the ones we've got. Yeah, but we'll need to pull some resources from another district to do it. Huh. Sheriff won't like that. Ah, marshals! Finally! I was beginning to think you were never going to help... Well, hold on now. You aren't marshals. You look like ruffians. Are you here to see the sheriff? Well... I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. Okay. Ruffians. I'm sorry. I was raised better than that. It's just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I okay. must know how the sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. The marshals seem a bit overwhelmed at the moment. Uh, who are you, anyway? My name is Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. Okay. But now they and my little brother have been kidnapped by those good-for-nothing Dorseys, and... and I fear for their lives. Mm. Can tell them we more are about the founding families. families of Colorado Springs, descended from the survivalists who came together after the deluge of fire and helped the patriarch build a stronger Colorado. I'm proud to trace my lineage back before the war on both sides of my family. Okay. Marshall seemed that may be, well. but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. Mm, uh, is there anyone here who you think should get less consideration than you? I... I... I suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. I am just... frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. Okay. Someone let the Dorseys into town, and the savages have taken my family hostage, along with a good many others, and retreated to the Garden of the Gods. Okay, so her family has been taken there, I guess. I came here to demand that Sheriff Daisy immediately mount an expedition to save them, but her marshals keep putting me off. Okay. Uh, we're the Arizona Rangers. We could help you. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. No, thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Daisy, okay. I will not leave until you speak to me. Let's talk to Deputy Marshal Torres. Miss West, Miss Wesson, could you... I'm sorry. I have to talk to these folks. Sorry about that. Are you... the Rangers? We were told to expect you. Sheriff Daisy is waiting for you in the back. Thanks, Torres. Anytime, Marshal Kwan. Okay, what are you working on? Any advice on how to handle Sheriff Daisy? <laughs> Don't blink. Okay. Uh, what are you working reports. on? Lots of reports. The Dorsey oh, raid really tore up the town. Murder, looting, fires. They even attacked this station. Not that they got very far. It's been exhausting. Okay. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. Okay. Sheriff Daisy is there. Is there anything else that... 
the table. Suppose we should talk to Sheriff Daisy first. Let's do that. The sheriff is, is the sheriff is a statuesque woman with graying blonde hair and steel in her smile. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good. And the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the Garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak... You mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. But question him first, you hear? Ma'am, okay. yes, ma'am. Uh... Lucia Wesson wants to talk to you about rescuing her family from the Dorseys. That girl? You think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me, too. Tell you what, though. Her people are 100 family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill two birds with one stone if you take little Miss Wesson with you when you go to save them. Okay. In fact, I'm going to insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. She knows which end of the gun the bullets come out of. Well, that's a good thing to know. Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. All righty. Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson. Yeah, we know As you. Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. Okay. Mm. What is the It's Garden a project of the, of the Ward family, a showcase for their know how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science. But there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to be cautious. Okay. Uh, before we go anywhere, let's talk about your combat experience. Certainly. My father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. <laughs> but have you ever killed anyone? I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. Okay. I know very little about you, strangers. And even if I trusted you as I would a friend, it is still my family who the Dorseys threaten. I must go. Fine, fine. All right, At then, let's last. go. Achievement unlocked. The gunslinger. All right, so we have Lucia Wesson. Let's take a look at her. Uh... Nice gun. Lucy's roll of 35 to 43 damage. Jesus. Old Man Winter. 38 to 47 damage. Okay. Snapshot. They will never see it coming. An extremely quick attack that only costs one action point, but has minus 60% hitch chance. Okay. 
Uh, attributes. Now let's take a look at skills first. Uh, small arms. She is a good shot. Uh, weapon modding. Pretty good. Barter. Pretty good. Survival. Pretty good. Nice. Okay. Attributes. He just has a lot of awareness, intelligence, and speed. And a bit of luck. Okay. Alright, so we have her as well. Let's take a look in here, see what's in here. Good cup, bad cup, and a swinging exposed light bulb. Classic. Okay. Fine. Medical crate. Could do with some medical stuff. Container. Oh, nice loot hole. Anything else? No, not here. Okay, we don't have anyone with lock picking four. And I don't really want to steal from the marshals anyway. Okay. There are some corpses there. The bodies of Dorsey's slain in the recent incursion were death tossed to haphazardly into the death of the hundred stinking families. Extra, extra cowardly attack on Colorado Springs. So where is this um Like you. Okay, what? I don't really want to talk to those guys. Uh, let's talk to Hallie. Mom? Oh, I. Sorry. Never mind. What? Why? What do you want? Uh, you were expecting your mother, where is she? I don't know. We were heading to Colorado Springs with a lot of other folks when we, we, uh, got separated. I, I hurried here as quick as I could after, but I ain't found her anywhere. I keep hoping. <laughs> got separated? There, there was this smiling lady. She smiling said she lady. had some food, and I could take some back to my mom if I came with her. And Next thing I know, she was gonna sell me. She put me in a cage. Yeah, she's a slaver. How did you escape? One of her men took me out of the cage. Two. Two. Yep. I kicked them as hard as I could and ran. They didn't find me in the dark. And then I saw some refugees and tagged along. Stayed with them till I got here. Do you need help? No, please. I just need you to go away. Please. Okay, goodbye. Uh, bye. Alright, what do we have here? There's an open sign. Is there a door? No. There's something there. Mm. Let's see what's up here. Actually, before we do that, there's more up here, so let's head up here. Mur murder bastards! Killed by Dorsey thugs. Families taken hostage. Okay. What's up here? The young guard's face is nervous but determined. He steps forward as you approach, holding his hand up. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Okay. Mm, what kind of authorization? An do invitation we need? from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Uh, why is the gate closed? Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. 
Okay, watch through the Broadmoor gate. Broadmoor Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Feels, clearly feels his job does not include expansive descriptions. Okay, goodbye. Good day. All right, so we're not going in there just yet. Would I even keep a shot? Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. The Dorsey! Okay. They won't be scared of a scrawny old man. <laughs> a scrawny old man with a shotgun. Uh, hang on, I'm not that old. Oh, just so we just put down the gun and let someone else handle this, all right? All right. I suppose we should talk to these guys. But we'll do that in the next one because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.